There's been a lot of talk around the country, around the nation, about this humanitarian crisis that's happening all over the country. Uh, every state is a border state. I thought it to be a prudent decision to take a delegation of leaders from Ashland County to put eyes on this crisis firsthand, figure out how it's going to affect us locally, if, and uh, be more prepared so that when we have this influx of migrants coming here by their choice or by some other force, then uh, we're going to make sure we have the handle on it so we can deal with it. There are people that are taking advantage of this border situation to make money, and they're sacrificing innocent Mexican lives and people from all around the world, quite candidly, they're sacrificing their lives in the name of making money. Think of the cartels. Think of the human trafficking that we've heard about, the drug trafficking. Well, if people think that the United States of America is controlling this border, they are wrong. This is controlled by the cartels. They are the ones that are calling the shots, letting people know when to come across, where to come across, how many to come across, what to bring across. And this is purely a reactionary uh, situation on behalf of the United States government and Cochise County Sheriff's Office. I mean, these guys, God bless them, they're doing whatever they can with no help from our government. So, you know, um, it's a problem. It's a big problem. So it's not just building the wall. There's that three-tiered approach for security. The lighting, the technology with cameras, the, obviously the physical wall, but then also the men and women to secure the border. It, it, it's kind of a three-prong approach that that is not being done here in our country. We've got to do that for our American people. We have to do that. But that makes when they're traveling on that interstate, they're dumping people in many states, including Ohio and potentially even our beautiful Ashland County. It's really important that we get this right. This is an entire humanitarian crisis. I mean, we have got people coming across here, dying while they're trying to come across here for money, for drugs. So this is an effect that happens all over the country. This is not just a Arizona crisis or a Texas crisis. Every state in the union is a border problem crisis. In fact, if you take a look at the statistics over the last couple of years, we have seen a double digit uptick in the number of men and women that are being pulled off of Interstate 71 into our courtroom in Ashland, Ohio. It's costing our local taxpayers to address the very men and women who are getting through this fence or over this fence or getting into this country illegally. These people are coming across uh, basically slave labor. That's what's happening. They, they establish a relationship based on this initial payment and they work it off for the rest of their life, but they're basically married now to the cartels. You know, I did you a favor, you paid me great, thanks, we love it, but you're gonna continue to do this or bad things are gonna happen to you and your family. So this is not just an isolated, hey, I'm gonna give you five, 10 grand, thanks for helping me get across the border and enjoy my life. They're working it off, they're selling themselves, they're selling their kids, their families. They're poisoning our country with these fentanyl and these drugs and the methamphetamines. So this is not just an isolated thing. This is a continual problem. It's a huge network. It ties in perfectly as a pro-life leader that just these humanitarian issues, we need to also take a look at because children are lost. We don't know where they are. Um, people's lives that are going about their day-to-day -day life, going to school, going to a birthday party, they're putting their life at risk every day because they don't know when that light turns green, who's coming down the interstate. And so I think it's so important that we do secure our border so that we can protect human life in America. Vote for a president who's gonna get stuff done. Donald Trump, he's the guy. He's been talking about this forever. Bernie Marino, we gotta surround people with the president that also have the same likenesses. And the third thing is, is local, our local officials. We gotta have people that are standing up talking about this stuff, understanding it, doing the research on their own, not just listening to somebody else's story and engaging this stuff. This is a real problem. We all have to work together.